Hi, welcome to Our Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on sets, set notation, Venn diagrams, and kind of figuring it all out. So in this video, what we have is a Venn diagram, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out the number of elements in each of the circles. Now, it's always written top bottom. You always want to read it bottom top. Um, I have an, my next video will be doing this again with words. So if we start at the bottom, the intersection of each of these is the one region that J, K, and L all share, which is the center of the storm. And it says that this has 11 elements in it. Okay, here's where things get tricky. And I don't mean hard tricky, but I just mean you have to think. The intersection of J and L, that would be this little leaf, these two regions are what J and L share, is 20. This isn't 20, the two together are 20, which means this region has to have nine elements because nine plus 11 is our 20. So there's gonna be a lot of subtraction going on. All right, the intersection of K and L is 19. Well, once again, 19 isn't this little area, it's the two added together, which means this region has to have eight because 11 plus eight is 19. The regions J and K add up to 16, and that's no joke, which means this region is a five. Okay, L, this full circle is 38. Well, we already have nine plus 11 is 20 and 20 plus eight is 28, which means there's only 10 left to go here. Nine plus 11 is 20, 38. Okay, K has 30. Well, 11 plus five is 16, 16 plus eight is 24, so this has to be six. Let's see, six plus five is 11, 11 plus 11 is 22, 22 plus eight is 30. I like to add it a couple of times just to make sure I have my math correct. And last, this region is 25. Well, nine plus 11 is 20 and 20 plus five is 25, which means there are zero elements right there. The region that is J and J alone does not actually have any of its own elements. Okay. It says, what is the name of the set of elements in only J? That is called an empty set. It's also called a null set. It's often symbolized like that. A set with no elements. Okay. Now it says the number in the intersection of A and B, intersection C complement. So let's see. If we look at each of the numbers here as the number of elements in that region, then the intersection, huh, A, B, and C. Let's say A is J. Let's say B is K. And let's say C is L. Okay, so the intersection of J and K is these two regions. So the intersection of J and K is the region that has five elements and the region that has 11 elements. The, we want the intersection of that with L complement, everything that isn't L. Well, everything that isn't L is the zero, the five and the six. And since we're looking for the intersection, we wanna know what's the same, what's the same as the five. So this has five elements. Okay, this is starting with, and that's what that little N means in all of these number, number of elements. Okay, the union of J and K. Well, the union of J and K is, actually the union of J, K and L is everything and we wanna know the complement. But since we don't have a number out here, we'll have to say zero. We only have numbers within the Venn diagram. Okay. Next we have 
Let's see, J complement is everything that's not J. So that's going to be the 6, 8, and 10. 6, 8, and 10, those numerical regions is J complement. We want to do the union of that and K. Well, K is 5, 6, 11, and 8. Union means we're putting them together. Well, we don't write the 6 twice, and we don't write the 8 twice. So we have 5, 6, 8, 10, and 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 5. Yep. And we want to do the intersection of that with L. L has the regions 9, 11, 8, and 10. The intersection there is what they have in the same. So 5, 6, they both have an 8, they both have a 10. So the number of elements is 8 plus 10 or 18. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.